Welcome to the Corp Vault channel. In this video, we will discuss how to perform standard in house upgrade of Com Vault from version 10 to version 11. Please like, share, comment, subscribe for more videos, and you can follow us on Instagram. For this video, we will be upgrading Com Vault Com Serve from version 10 to version 11 locally by just running com vault version 11 software setup executable let's discuss what you need to check first before proceeding with the actual upgrade ensure all version 10 servers have minimum service pack 11 installed and upgrade all old version agents to version 10 better to have updated service pack 15 installed on all servers in the com cell Supported operating system is Windows Server 2012 and above for version 11 ComServe. Hardware specifications for the ComServe should meet vendor ComVault recommendations in the books online. Ensure there is enough free space on the drive where MS SQL DB is hosted. The free space available on the ComServe computer must be at least three times the size of the current ComServe database. Also, ensure there is enough free space on OS Drive C, so ComVault binaries are not compressed and cause issues. The ComServe does not require a license to upgrade to V11. The license currently used in your ComCell environment can be a permanent or valuation license, but ensure you have a valid support contract. Apply upgrade authorization key to version 10 ComVault DB. Please review the pre- and post-upgrade considerations from the books online. Uninstall resource pack or older deprecated products if installed. Let's begin. First take the disaster recovery backup. Right-click on ComServe, All Tasks and select Disaster Recovery Backup. Leave the default options selected, and click OK to start the backup. For this video we are considering only phase 1 of the DR backup, so please ignore other errors. Browse to the location where phase 1 backup is configured, and note down the set ID. Ensure the set folder has ComServe DB along with other DBs. Browse to the location where version 11 com vault software is located. Run setup.exe with admin privileges. Please choose appropriate language and click next to continue. Accept the com vault license agreement and click next to proceed select install package on this computer older version of the software detected click next to upgrade the version 10 to version 11 as you observe pre upgrade checks are going on stages are highlighted for your attention preparing for pre upgrade check ComServe pre-upgrade check in progress. Pre-upgrade check failed for ComServe. Click on View Report to check the details. In the report you can see what all pre-checks have been performed, and which precise check has been failed. As you see ComServe license check has failed. Also, the apply authentication code check has been failed. ComVault version 10 is not yet upgraded so we can go back and get the highlighted issues fixed. Please note, you can review this report whenever you need as it is located under, 
log files directory. Once both the issues are fixed, let's resume the installation. Click Next to resume unfinished installation window. Again, checking prerequisites. During preparing installation, all COM Vault services will be stopped. Waiting for all that duplication processes to shut down. Preparing install. Installing 64-bit Python. Installing Python components. Installing Microsoft SQL related binaries. Installing SQL management objects for 2012 version. Proceeding with upgrading packages. Preparing version 11 install. Acquiring file system core. Acquiring ComServe. Updating file system core. Acquiring Workflow Engine Acquiring Media Agent Updating ComServe Acquiring Storage Accelerator Acquiring VSS Provider Acquiring ComCell Console Updating Workflow Engine Acquiring File System Updating Media Agent Installing Storage Accelerator Updating VSS Provider Updating VSS Hardware Provider Updating ComCell Console Acquiring Metrics Server Updating File System Installing Metrics Server Extracting ZIP Files Installing Hotfixes Please note this might take a while to complete. Performing Main Upgrade Main upgrade as well takes time to complete. Creating extended stored procedures and CLR functions. Configuring workflow engine service. Upgrading Media Agent Upgrading ComCell Console Upgrading File System 
Copying cloud database files. Creating cloud database. Performing main upgrade. Configuring Tomcat. Updating ODBC connections. Installing updates. Please note this might take a while to complete. Updating extended stored procedures and CLR functions. Restore DR dump location. Setting COM serve properties. Please note this action also might take a while to complete. Processing post install steps, and following actions may take time to complete. Post install configuration for history DB database. Post install configuration for audit DB database. Post install configuration for cache DB database. Post install configuration for template DB database. Post install configuration for resource manager DB database. Post install configuration for App Studio DB database. Post install configuration for ComServe database. Upgrading ComServe. Post install configuration for App Workflow Engine database. Post install configuration for COM Vault Cloud DB database. Updating client information on ComServe. Starting all COM Vault services. Doing startup steps for VSS provider. Upgrade completed successfully. Let's check in the log files as well. Open database upgrade.log. Scroll to the end of the log file. Upgrade completed successfully. You also have other required logs, or reports here. For example, the pre-upgrade error XML. Process Manager also shows version 11. Do subscribe for more videos. Thank you.